Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Conscious Marketer Podcast. I'm Richard, and I'm also joined with Kylie. Hi, Kylie. Hey there. And today we're going to talk about kind of breaking through plateaus. We're going to talk about, you know, kind of if if you're ready to take your business into growth mode, what do you do? And dare say we were going to talk about earning a conscious million. You know, how do you go from if your business is running, say, 100,000, how do you make a leap? How do you go from like, how do you 10x your income? And I think it's a really interesting way to think. And often I'll tell people that I coach or mentor, I'll say, you know, you can you can grit your way from like 100,000 to 150, or you can like, it's kind of like crawling through glass, you know, you could get through it and you could work really hard, but actually the only thing you're going to do is you're, you're going to earn a little more money, make a little more impact, but often it's at your, at the expense of your time and your health and things like that. And so when you want to kind of make more of a, a quantum leap and go from say a hundred to a million, you actually have to think differently. And generally, and generally where we start is we look at the business model because a lot of times the, the whatever business model somebody's locked into kind of is preventing them from lever- leveraging their time and the resources or other people's time and resources. And so they're, they're just stuck because they're like, I don't know how I could earn any more money because I don't have any more time left in the day. And that's if you're, if, if you're listening to this and you're saying that, it's it's probably because of your business model. And so this is it's not actually talked about too much. And so I think this is really interesting. Absolutely. And just to kind of dive into it a little bit, we've both seen different business models that can make a million dollars and been part part of like multiple, multiple million dollar launches and things of that nature. And the first campaign that I was a part of, and I wrote all the ads and managed the affiliate program and was part of all the strategy. We did two and a half million dollars in 12 weeks. And one of the ways that that was able to happen was that it was a $10,000 program that was also a certification program. So it was a, it was a coaching sort of academy type thing. People learned how to coach, but they also learned the business side of coaching and they got a certification for it. So the offer was really solid. And so I think that first thing that we want to do is consider what's a high-end offer that has an irresistible offer that people, the right people will not be able to say no to. And the other aspect of that, I didn't even know I was going to talk about this, but the other aspect of it was that we told a story that people wanted to be a part of. So I actually. Right. There's that story thing again, that that tends to come in a lot with you. (laughs) I know. I can't help it. This was the first time I discovered it for real though. And we we were able to speak with the women who upgraded because part of the the revenue was that after 10 grand, there was a $25,000 upsell and a lot of people bought it. And I reached out to the hyper buyers and I asked them, why did you buy this program? Nine out of 10 people told me they bought it because of the story, like they bought it because of the offer, but they also saw the story and they were like, I want to live inside of that story. So I actually think part of having a million dollar, million dollar year or making a million dollars period is also what are you talking about and who are you talking about it to? Like that can't be avoided. One of the ways is to increase the price level, but also the the story you're telling needs to attract the right people. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. I think there are different levers, and um, you know, the I, I guess the pricing would be a business model shift because let's just say that you've you've started internet marketing and you hear about this thing called uh, a free giveaway, right? <laughs> and then you spend three months trying to do this three free giveaway. Or you do these things and then you realize you have to pay uh, Facebook or some other ad agency or ad company to like market the free giveaway. And then, uh, you know, maybe maybe you get a thousand people that download that the free giveaway and you pay a dollar to each or maybe more like five or 10 in today's market. <laughs> so you spent all this money and you're left with a thousand people who just want free stuff. And so that's generally a bad business model. And so... Um, 
And if you're out there and you've done this, it's okay. Like a lot of people have done this. It's, it's just, it's like one of these things that are touted as a thing. Um, so I think, you know, one of the other, the other thing that happens too, is because we work with a lot of psychotherapists, a lot of healers, a lot of people who do some kind of coaching or fitness trainers. And a lot of times, um, and I was like this when I was younger, it took me a long time to break out of this. We, the other business model kind of paradigm that people get caught into is they, they think about trading their time for money. And so they're like, oh, I need to um, have X more number of clients, but I only have so many hours in the day. So one of the other big shifts is how do I sh transition out of a, you know, a one-on-one -on -one model or a time for money model uh, over to a more leveraged model. And if you're somebody like we run an agency, uh, the, the agency version of that is you charge like a fixed fee, you know? And so like a fixed fee would be, Hey, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, $5,000 to create your website. But if you're the one designer, then that's still kind of a time for money model. But if you are an agency, say that it launches and you're like, well, we charge a fixed fee. And then we also take a percentage of the income. Well, then you have some upside because if the launch does really well, then you get a percentage of the take, or maybe it's equity. So there's a lot of different models and often when somebody's stuck at say the 100k level it's um it's it's the or or they're trying to 10x you have to change your model like uh it's the, it's really the fastest way and then as you change your model kind of coming back to what Kylie said kind of full circle you have to change the story a little bit because mm -hmm. um either the story that you've been telling about yourself or the story that's attracted the other people um, isn't, isn't going to work, you know? Mm. It's so true. It's so true. I, I love that you said that. And, um, one of the things that I was also thinking of when you were speaking was one of our former clients who just was in our mastermind and just hit it. She, she did a million dollars in revenue during that time. It was the first time she did that. And I do believe it's so important to have mentors and guides that can help you to get there. So there's the offer, there's the story, and then there's the support and the community around you. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Are you surrounding yourself with people who have gone where you want to go? Even if it's so far advanced, you'll never reach it, but can you join it anyways? And, you know, I have mentors like that. I'll never do what they've done, but I become a better person, a stronger person, the best version of myself. And so anyways, this woman, one of the things that she did that I like to pass on to all our mastermind clients is that she came to the call. She knew exactly where she was stuck. She knew exactly where she wanted to go. And she would ask one question. It would take her five minutes to ask and get the answer. And then she would jump off the call, which I don't recommend, but she would jump off the call and go do it. And then she'd come back the next week with like, I did it. This is what happened. What can I do now? And because of her ability to be precise and concise and know exactly what she needed to move forward, she moved forward really fast. And, you know, she's doing great now. I see her Facebook posts from time to time, and she's just accelerated far beyond that even. And she's just got that attitude of who can I surround myself with to get to that next level. So I think, too, there's there's the tactical things and then there's the community of who are you being around and who are you being? How are you growing yeah. as much as possible? Well, that's three things. So if you're looking for ways to break <laughs> out uh, uh, and 10X your business, I think the first is look at the business model. Uh, like, how do you shift that? You've got to go from one to one group or you've got to have a scale with a membership site. You have to raise your pricing. So there's a business model shift that has to occur. And for every business, it's a little different. There's different models. The second, like Kylie said, you got to surround yourself. If you're surrounded by people and mentors who are doing a hundred or 200 K and they aren't helping people get to a million, you got to find new mentors, you know? <laughs> so like surround yourself with people who can give you the advice. And then that third thing is that action. You know, if you're doing the tasks that the hundred K entrepreneur would do, uh, you need to be doing the things that the million dollar entrepreneur is doing for their business. And so that that's where you want to model other people. And just, you know, just so you know, we we're a conscious marketer here. It's the, the money is just kind of a byproduct of the impact you're making. 
And so when we say we, we want you to make more money because then you can actually reinvest that money to help more people and create a better life for you and greater transformation. So I just want to mention that because um, sometimes this is like, oh, they're just like everybody else. It's just about the money. And it's really not the people that we mm-hmm. see making the greatest impact in the world. They've found a way to, I think, um, you know, come to peace with they need to generate a lot of income because that's going to help them get their movement out there, help them impact more people, and also have the freedom to create the things that they need to create um, that can serve the market. Absolutely. I mean, the more money you make, the more you can buy ads and people see those ads and they transform just seeing them. The more money you make, you can hire a copywriter. If writing copy all day long and taking 10 years to be a good copywriter isn't really your thing, you can hire somebody who's really great at that. You can hire designers, graphic designers, so that your branding and your design looks like who you really are instead of just kind of throwing it together, which is what I used to do. And I did my best with it, but you can only go so far with that. And you can hire, you can have a team around you and you can purchase more media and you can help more people, you can reach more people, but also, yeah, you can have the lifestyle that you want. A lot of clients that come to us and a lot of clients I've had for the last 10 years, they want the money because they want a certain lifestyle, whether that's being able to travel or being able to eat really, really healthy or being able to have all the, you know, wellness stuff that they want, whether they, whether that's like jumping into a cold plunge in a sauna or, whether it's you know eating all organic food or going to certain destination spots that are good for their spiritual life and things of that nature they want that lifestyle and it becomes it's a nice relief when you don't have to think about that you're just like this is what i'm going to do and i'm not worried about it it's it's fine i'm going and i mean i remember a time where i was gosh it was probably in 2012 when i was at a gas station in Florida and all I could do was $5 in gas. And I had to pull out this little receipt that I had that had my bank balance on it and look and make sure that I could even put the $5 in my tank. And I'll tell you right now, (laughs) that is no way, hopefully you've never been in that situation, but that is no way to live. And now for me to be like, I'm not, I, whatever I wanted to do, I'm going to do it. It is really, really nice. So and that comes from, yeah, the offer, the story, the attracting the right clients and all of that kind of stuff. And, and you could definitely do it if you're listening and you're like, I've already done this. That's great. If you haven't done it, it's very doable. I never thought that I could have any degree of success in my life. And and uh, you may not either, but I was telling Why? Richard, it's. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was telling Richard, like, sometimes it's easier to make to generate that million than it is to generate that 200 grand because who you have to become and how, and, and everything like that, it's, it's the expansiveness from 200 K to a million is easier than that expansiveness from zero to 200. In my opinion, not everyone would agree with that. Yeah. What well, forces your growth, it forces your, forces you to grow in different areas. And I would also say that if you're listening to this and um, either you struggle with money or you just know that money isn't like it's a thing out there, but it's it's like it's not the most important thing in your life. I would just encourage you to create a revenue goal because um, it's interesting if you don't have the goal and the vision to bring that in, then it often doesn't come in. But it, it can provide for most entrepreneurs um, and creators to even artists, healers, it provides so much freedom to to do the things and to serve in the ways that you want to serve rather than having to, um, you know, I mean, I've been there before. You're, you're borrowing money, asking for money, putting things on credit cards or, or, or taking jobs because of the money, because you haven't generated enough. That's a, it's a real, it's like, it's like such draining energy. Um, so for, for me, not having to do that ever again, I haven't done that for a while, but it's like, um, so, so create that goal, create, create some kind of target where you can go out there and, and do it to create, create more, you know, do it to create more impact, but set the goal. And then there might be some blocks that you have around money. We've made that, that's another episode, but overcoming, um, worth issues or how money is used in the world or things like that. Like, it's definitely, I think it's one of these things we're on, 
uh, you know, we're in 3D planet and human bodies, you know, it's one of these things we're meant to have some mastery over uh, if, if we're going to be really successful in the world. I agree. And so, you know, I want to leave you with this. If this information is something that could help you, then instead of just listening to this and going about your day, I want you to just take a few minutes and write down what you got out of it and what you can do in all those areas. Just like a few minutes. It doesn't need to be a big thing. And I want you to hold yourself accountable. And if you can't hold yourself accountable because it's really hard to do that alone, then find a group, whether that's with us or somebody else, find a group that can kind of put your feet in the fire so that you can begin to move forward in this way. Because I believe that the world really needs you and that this is a crucial, crucial step in your evolution as a person and in the ability to help and build community. Yeah, well, well said. Yeah, There's so many of you have gifts out there that could help so many people and they, it just needs to get get out there. So thanks for listening today to the Conscious Marketer podcast. You can go to consciousmarketer.com forward slash podcast to get the show notes and everything. And if you liked it, give us a like or a review on Amazon, iTunes or Spotify. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks so much.